Hi guys, so let's look at example four. Uh, it says use the point slope formula. So point slope formula, okay, which is this y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Use that formula to write a linear equation for the perpendicular bisector of the segment joining these two points. Okay, and write your equation using slope intercept form. So before we start anything else, you need point slope formula, and you're also going to need um, the slope formula, which is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And also, of course, we know uh, the midpoint formula, which we derive together in class, is x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. Okay, so uh, in this case usually it's e nice to draw a picture for yourself, just a quick rough sketch so that you can see what it is you're trying to find. Uh, if we draw a quick little picture, here's negative 3, here's 4, this is point A, and then 5 there's five and let's say that's six and so that's that point that gives me this and uh, this is point B right here okay so uh, what we're trying to find is the perpendicular bisector I'll do that line in red so um, if this is the middle the midpoint of the segment the perpendicular bisector would look something like this, going through that point. <coughs> okay, uh, and so we're trying to find the equation of this. All right. So the problem is I don't really know anything about it yet, but I know if I can find this point, I have a point on the line, uh, and this formula, since it's called point slope, just requires me to have a point and a slope, then I can find an equation of a line. So let's try and find that point first, okay, this point here, and we can do that uh, by just finding the midpoint of the segment, midpoint of segment AB. So if we find the midpoint of AB, okay, it's a good starting point, and so we have uh, the midpoint formula that we have up here, and I can just say this is my uh, let me erase this line so it's a bit clearer. We can say this is my x1, my y1, my x2, and my y2, and plug them in that formula. Okay, so if I do that, I get uh, negative 3 plus uh, 5 over 2, and then if I do y1 is 4 plus y2 is 6 over 2, so the midpoint of segment AB actually comes out to be uh, about 1 and 5, 1, 5, alright? So I found this midpoint here, and we said it's 1, 5. So now, if I can find the slope of the segment, okay, so if I can find this slope, then I know since the red line is the perpendicular bisector, I can just take the negative reciprocal to find the slope of the red line. So let's find the slope of AB, slope of AB, uh, using our slope formula, is Y2, which is 6, minus Y1, which is 4, over uh, X2, which is 5, minus, and X1 is negative 3. Okay, so here's what I have. I have 2 over 8, which is 1 fourth. And then, let's switch to red. So, uh, what, oh, well, let me switch back to blue. What I have here is this slope is one-fourth. Well, if that slope is one-fourth, then the slope of the perpendicular bisector, I know that's the negative reciprocal. So the slope of the perpendicular bisector is negative four. So I have now the slope of this line is negative four. And so I have a point on the red line, and I have a slope on the red line. That's enough for me to use point-slope formula to find the equation of the red line. 
So let's do that in red. We're going to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Okay, and we'll do that uh, as follows. We use point slope formula, so let me do that in red. Y minus Y1 equals the slope times X minus X1. And I'll make the substitutions in blue. So this is what I'm going to substitute, the midpoint here uh, and this slope here. So now we'll call this X1 and Y1, and this will be our slope. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, my equation that I have here, y minus y1, I'll leave the space there, equals the slope times x minus x1, I'll leave the space there. So let's do the substitutions. So here is my y1, which is 5, here is my x1, which is 1, and my slope is here, which is negative 4. Okay. And if we simplify that, we get y minus 5 is, and we can distribute this, negative uh, 4x plus 4. And if we add the 5 to both sides, uh, we quickly get this. We quickly get uh, y equals negative 4x plus 9. So that would be the equation of the perpendicular bisector. So we did what we set out to do. Here's the equation, y equals negative 4x plus 9. And the reason we went from here to here is because that's what the question required up here. It said put it in slope-intercept form. Okay? I hope that helps you guys.